We are at uh, Metroflex and I'm with Ryan Terry. About to smash shoulders, big, big shoulder session, right? Yeah, yeah, looking forward to it. Yep, I'm um, just gonna, basically what we're gonna try and do is gonna try and go through the details of the exercises when we hit them as well. Give why, why we hit them, um, why we do the reps that we do, you know, uh, we're gonna explain our form, etc. You know, just, just basically give you an uh, in-depth review of our sessions, um, our shoulder session, basically, how we do it. So I'm um, looking forward to it. Yeah, let's do it. What do you think of this, man? His physique's amazing, man. Um, I posted, um, what was it, yesterday? I posted uh, the picture of him with his um, face blanked out. Everyone knew who it was. <laughs> you know, so, um, yeah, no, nah, it's, it's, it's going it's gonna to be a good session, man. Yeah, look forward to, forward to it. it. Sure. Wicked. So as I showed you guys in my uh, arms video, keeping it nice and light, basically getting getting warmed up, but also my elbows, like I told you before, um, if I don't warm them up, it can it can hurt real bad when lifting heavy. So um, I'm gonna take my time, go through the the, the the light reps, and just get warm before killing it. So that was the first uh, heavy, that was uh, 50 kilos, which is uh, about 110, 110 pounds. Um, I don't know what we're gonna get today, to be fair. Um, the next one might be the heaviest, so we'll try, I'm gonna try about 60 and see how that goes. You know the lightweights and then we did a few heavy heavy sets you know and um, what I like to do I like to stay stay heavy for as long as possible so I've obviously done like a pretty much a max weight 130 pounds for uh, two sets and um, did the 50s warming up to that and now I'm gonna go back to the 50s and try and rep out again and then we'll probably do one more just underneath that and then that's a shoulder press with dumbbells done you know, I can't remember how many sets, probably about seven to eight, you know. Yeah. I like I like a lot of volume, lots of volume in the in the sessions. Stop. Alright, go. Ryan's about to rip out on the last set. I uh, just done my set. Feeling good, you know. First exercise, lots of volume, lots of heavy weight. Okay, we're about to do um, some behind the neck Smith presses. And um, I like to do this without the back support. I like to just, I don't know, it just feels, feels better without it for some reason for me. And um, I'm gonna start light as before. And um, this one's basically about keeping the form real good, keeping the form straight. And then um, obviously if you're working behind your neck, you don't wanna get anything, get anything wrong, you know? Cause it is a bit of a funny position to put yourself in. And a lot of people don't actually do 
behind the neck presses because of that, you know. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, uh, this is the first time I was doing yeah. it, so. But we're going to keep yeah. it light, yeah. you know, and um, just more, take your time. Trying it, yeah, yeah definitely. I don't know if you guys have seen like when I do the Instagram videos where I highlight, you know, you can, so you can see exactly what's working. <laughs> the body fat at the moment is low enough, you can actually see the belts moving. Yeah. Don't get to see when you watch Instagram videos, you only see the, um, the heavy sets, you know, so you assume that that's all that's really being done. And obviously, when you do a really heavy set, sometimes your form might go a little bit. And as I said in my last video, as long as you keep it safe, as long as you're getting the first few sets with good, correct form and getting those reps in, it's fine. You know, as long as you're keeping it safe. Safety is the, the, main, the main thing, you know. Um, what we've just done so far, I think we've just done two sets of 20. You know, so, and, and the form was perfect. Perfect, clean form. And that's what you don't get to see. We're probably gonna do about eight sets, but you don't get to see that when you, you know, when you see the Instagram videos, you know, but this is what you get to see now, you know? Clean sets, and then we get heavy. And then your form might go a bit, but it's fine. <laughs> Maybe getting what, two to three reps on that first drop and then just working through it. And then um, after we've done all those heavy drops, we um, just repped out basically. I don't know, I think I've got about 35 reps on that last set. Just um, like I told you, we get the reps in, we get the form correct, but we also go heavy. And also, we throw in drop sets every now and then, which is, uh, like I said in my last video, it's an intensity um, variation that you can add to your workouts, whether that be a superset, whether it be a drop set, you know, just something to increase intensity, give your body a shock, you know? So, uh, yeah, moving on. We're hitting, um, hitting the side laterals now. Um, what I like to do, basically, is with most sessions this includes this includes legs this includes back start with the compound start with the big lift you know the one the one that takes the most um the most effort you get done first you know so that you can put all your energy into it so what we've just done we did uh, dumbbell shoulder press um, and then we did behind the neck presses so always get your i advise you always get your presses out first you know get that get that get that heavy exercise done first you've got all your energy to kill it now we're isolating, you know, so now we're hitting side laterals and then um, we're gonna probably hit rear delts, hit front delts, and then maybe finish off with some shrugs. So, um, yeah.
the weight. Um, I think we started with 10, 10 kilos, then it was a 12 or 15, um, then a 20, and um, I just, just hit the 30 now. Now what you're gonna notice when you watch it back is the first few sets, kept the form pretty clean, barely any swing, that's good form, that's perfect form. Then you saw the big 30 where there was a bit of a swing, but it was safe, like I said before. And that for me is what's gonna give me more strength in the long run, which is why I do it. And I'm about to do it again, and then I will come back down, you know, and work and work the clean reps with the lighter weight. So um, it's just something I wanna get through to you guys that working with heavy weight, you know, keep the form safe, keep it as clean as you can, but you do have to touch it just to to, 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 to shock the body, you know? You, that's how I feel you're gonna grow. That's why I feel you're gonna get more power. So I'm gonna hit that again. Keep it going, keep it going. Yes, one more. Up. Yes. I'll tell you what I'm enjoying most about this session. Ryan's on exactly the same wavelength, he's killing it. Just getting stuck in, you know, and um, the bounce off that really, you know. As much as I'm giving, he's giving. Just pushing and pushing and pushing and going for it. So, um, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Come on. As you'll notice, a trend, volume. Lots of heavyweight, lots, lots of sets, well, we got this, we lots got and this. lots of sets. <laughs> and, um, you know, I feel that um, that heavy volume is what really gives you the, um, gives you growth, to be fair. You know, um, it, that, just because the sets are, 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 just because there's a numerous amount of sets doesn't mean that the session takes that much longer because we're back to back, back to back, straight in, straight out. So you can get a session done in a, just over an hour. You know, a good session can be just over an hour. Many people like that don't train assume that bodybuilders take like hours in the gym. It's not that. It really is not that. Literally, um, the longer session that most bodybuilders will have is a legs day. Mine can be up to two hours. You know, but really, an hour or just over an hour is a decent amount of time to get a good session. Okay, yeah, so um, what have we done? Let's recap. We have done our big presses, both, uh, um, both uh, dumbbell presses and Smith Machine press behind the neck. We've done our laterals, so we've hit our delts, you know, hit them from the side, we hit them from the front. And what we're gonna go and do now is we're gonna finish off with some shrugs for the traps. Gotta get the traps up, man. So, um, yeah, all good so far, and I'm um, loving it.
So let's get straight to it. Um, we've just finished, and um, you know, I feel great. I've had a, 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 like, what I liked about it was Ryan came in ready to work, pushed me just as much as you know I was giving, and um, had an awesome session. No, quite no. Frankly. Like I say, for me, I've enjoyed it mostly because I've done exercises that I don't normally do, um, and it's nice to get feedback and it's nice to swap and change um, with like yourself an athlete who uh, we don't normally get to train with each other. And it's nice to get some ideas and some some tips. Uh, and like I say, I'm absolutely wiped out now. I've done what an hour and twenty, an hour and yeah, thirty, something like that, flat, flat out, out, and um, yeah, really happy with that. Yeah, and I think that. Like, um, we gave everything to be fair. I don't think that we, um, any of us was um, going half, half, half at it at all. No, no, big, big session, lots of, lots of freaking, lots of sets. Yeah. You know, lots of sets, and um, yeah, I, like I feel like I was pushed just as much as you know I tried to give as well. So yeah. for me, I think as well. There's a bit of variation in the training. So for me, I, I, I don't work within myself, but I always push myself through plateaus, through more endurance kind of training. So I do drop sets, supersets, things like that. And it was Which nice. you threw in a drop set today. Yeah, but it was it's nice as, as well to see with Simeon where he, he kept things back, a, a bit of energy back and whatnot, and then went heavier and heavier and heavier and pushed himself through that way. So again, you're still expending calories and expending energy, but through a different source of training. And for me, yeah, I was fired up, got a good pump, and uh, I think I'm gonna hear it tomorrow from him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, yeah. man. And now I'm gonna ask a couple questions for you. Um, in relation to shoulders, but you know, with um, a few other little bits and bobs from in there too. Um, yeah, basically, um, they, you, you need variation with your workouts. With um, what we did today, we started with dumbbell shoulder press. Now, that could have been a military press. Yes. Or we could have gone straight in with the Smith, but um, in front of the neck. You know, that, that big press at the start of your workout, as I said, during the workout, is, 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 is needed, you know? And um, it's best to do at the beginning, I feel, because you have, most, all, you have all your energy, and it's going to be the exercise that you need most of your energy to, to, to get the best out of it. Not only that though, it hits all through heads to the shoulders. Exactly that. It gets the blood in there warming up for the next exercise throughout the workout. Well. Exactly that. And, I, and I've, I've tried to stress that, you know, with, with all body parts, get that big compound lift out first. If you're going to hit your chest, get that bench press out first. Use all your energy to, 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 to get your, you know, to hit your heaviest weights. Yeah. You know, if you're, if, you're, if you're doing your legs, get that big squat, get, get that big squat done, you know. And um, yeah, then we move on to isolation exercises. Yeah. You know, like we hit our lats. Um, sorry, we hit our lateral, ra lateral raises. Yeah. We hit our front raises. Uh, we didn't do any rare delts no. today, but then how, you've got yeah. an hour and a half to yeah. work out. You know, don't want to be here forever. Yeah. So we got a lot done, though, didn't we? We got a lot. Like I we isolated each head near enough, and uh, obviously we finished on shrugs, which um, yeah, it was a great finisher. Yeah. Like like with everybody part, I say you need to your your training needs to be structured. With every body part that I train, I, I, I come in with a plan, and it, it, it's basically what I just said about you know the the, the 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 big compound lift at the start, you know, and then isolating the heads. Now that goes for every body part, you know. Um, delts, there's no way I'm going to do a, a shoulder session and I haven't you know hit each side of the each side of the of, of, of the of the delts, you know. It just has to be set. And, and done and done right, you know. So with yeah. chest, you know, you're going to hit your, your your flat bench. You're going to do something for incline. You're going to do. You're going to basically. You need to mix and match your exercises for sure. Yeah, and for me, it's it's really important as well. If you're ever going to go on stage or if you're ever doing a photo shoot, you don't want that flat looking 2D um, shape. You always want to look 3D. So from every angle, you want to get that beveled uh, 3D look. So if you're obviously focusing on the front head, yeah, you can look good from the front, but as soon as you hit from the back, and they always say, shows the one from the back. So it's always important to get a good variation and equally hit all the heads to your, your shoulders and to any other muscle part. To any other muscle part. Just yeah. make sure, you, like, you should have a blueprint for your training. You know, yeah. don't just go in there with no plan. You know, I'm just going to do a bit of this, do a bit of that. Know what you're working. You know, I've always said that, um, the, 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 the thing that changed my training was um, a book called Strength Training Anatomy. Now, when I read that book, it, all it does, it's, not, it's nothing crazy, it just breaks down the, the, the muscles that are being worked in each exercise. And once I knew that, it was like, it might not seem like a big deal, but I was literally like, oh wow, you know? So next time I go into the gym, I'm gonna make sure I hit that, that, and that. And that will give me, you know, the full shape. And that goes for like all muscle groups, you know? So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> nice, <what a> <laughs> um, like you, basically, um, I was talking to Ryan and, and we were talking about injuries, and he asked, you know, if you've had any uh, injuries in you know the years that I've been training. Now I've been training 14 years, and I said to him, I've not had any um, um, injuries that 
have meant that I couldn't train, you know. I do have a slight little um, um, pain in my elbow, but that's not an injury that stopped me training. Now, the reason for that is, yes, I train heavy, but um, I keep the form safe. Now, that, that's, that, when, I, when I say safe, what do I mean? I mean, you don't do anything drastic, don't do anything silly like pick up a weight you can't handle. And when, when I say that you can't handle, that doesn't mean that um, you have to be perfect form with heavy weight because that's pretty much impossible that you're gonna yeah. do, be doing a weight that's pushing you and you're gonna be doing it perfect form. If that was the case, then you can go up, you know? So like, it's just about making sure it's safe. So like I said in my last video, if you're doing something like a, a, a pull down or back, you might have a little swing. Today actually, we did, we did lat raises. And on the heavy ones, yeah. it was a bit of a rock. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> we're fine. We're going home. Like, fine. There's no injuries. You know, we didn't injure ourselves. We're fine. You know, so it's just um, knowing where to make allowances. It is. You know, and, and I feel that when you do that, that is really what will, 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 will add to your growth, add to your strength. You know? And, but I think, um, I think as well, though, that being said, I think you need to be able to listen to your body as well. Because from a young age, I started off bodybuilding. I was looking up to huge lads in the gym and looking at what they were trying to lift. And I was trying to reach them. And I wasn't listening to what my body was capable at that time. And that's when you can cause injuries. So you've got to be able to, like he says, be able to lift the weight with near enough good form. But like he says, to push through plateaus and things like that, you have, there is going to be a bit of swing and you are going to push yourself in that respect. But um, if you do struggle and you, you're working on your own, it, it is hard to, to go uber uber heavy so like i say for me i always incorporate drop sets super sets if you don't have that confidence exactly. underneath the bar or exactly. underneath the barbell exactly yeah i just want to touch on what you said there about um listening to your body um you'll know if you can handle that weight and if, and if, it's, if it's not for you you know if you pick it up and you feel it, listen to your body man if you if you're about to do an exercise and you feel like you know what that that's not feeling right you put it down and, and then and, and go down away or like you said there are other ways to in, in intensify your workouts drop sets supersets you know um pause reps there's, yeah, yeah. there's other ways to really kill it you know so but heavyweight is, is is the form i choose but there's yeah. plenty of others you know and i do incorporate the others like uh, drop sets etc you know so. well, for me like i say we've trained shoulders today and it, it has been different to my last few weeks training um, we have gone heavy i've pushed myself through boundaries things like that and i am sometimes i've got to admit scared to go with to, to my absolute maximum heavy heavy just because of injuries I've had in the past but having that confidence having someone you, you are confident with training with and supporting you and um, does help massively so it's always important to try and get a good training partner who, you, who you're confident to um, who's going to support you. Um, for me when I train um, my weekly training split is quite methodically um, thought out and I try to keep my chest and my shoulders a couple of days apart, obviously because when you engage in your chest, you are going to be tiring uh, your shoulders and you will be engaging them. Even though you try not to and you isolate your chest, you will always incorporate your shoulders when you train your chest. And uh, same for back and legs, um, big compound moves, big muscle parts, so I try to give two to three days rest between them two as well. For me at the minute, I've incorporated, when I did the Olympia a few months back, um, the feedback I got was um, lacking in arm uh, size. So for me, I've incorporated that twice a week now. Um, again, giving it three or four days rest uh, as much as I can because that's the way you're going to grow. Is obviously letting the muscle fibres uh, repair, resting as much as you can before breaking them down again. Yeah, it just goes back to listening to your body. Like um, Ryan said, um, you know, today is um, a Tuesday. Today I would normally be doing back. I did back yesterday. Reason being, um, Brian and I decided that we were going to hit shoulders today. Now it's, it's sensible for me not to do chest and then do shoulders the next day. Yeah. Um, when you're doing your um, chest exercises, you're using your triceps as a secondary muscle. Yeah. I'm not going to then do that and then do shoulders the next day. I want to get the best out of each workout, you know. So um, yeah, so, so you should structure your training so that you get you get a little bit of a break between those muscle groups to get the best out of each session. Yeah, you know? that's right.